Hi Cancer and welcome to your monthly love tarot messages here. These messages are going to be general so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video here. So these messages here are intended for Cancer Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching as well. We'll give the cards a shuffle and see what they predict for you this coming month. Oh, okay. This one's flipped over, so I feel like that's a sign. Okay, um, first and foremost, I do feel like there's a bit of... Um, there's a bit of shift in energies here from what I can see, okay? There's a bit of a, a lack of balance with regards to your emotions or with regards to a romantic connection, okay? Something here is a little bit off-centered. Something here is, you know, there's no, not so much give and take here. There's, um, I feel like there's a bit of an emotionally scattered energy. There's a definitely Im uh, imbalance here in energies as well. I see you doing a lot of spying this month, okay? And if it's not you, then it's definitely the person that you're romantically interested in. However, I feel like... There's something here that's prompted this spying, okay? I feel like for some of you, look, maybe you've recently met someone and you're really curious to get to know them. Um, so, you know, you're trying to sort of spy on the social media platforms just to get, you know, an idea of who this person is, just to find out more about them. Um, there's definitely a sense of curiosity to the Page of Swords energy and there's a nervous or like, like an anxious kind of energy to the Page of Swords. You know, he looks a little bit paranoid to me. He looks a little bit... Um, you know, on the defensive side. Um, so some of you, I feel like, are spying because maybe this person has blocked you, okay? And you have very little way of trying to get to, trying to get through to them, okay? So you have very little way of trying to find out, you know, what are they doing? Who are they up to? Are they seeing any, anyone new? Are they talking to anyone new? Are you still on your mind, you know? Um, that's very interesting. And again, I feel like there's a curiosity there, okay? So whoever it is that you're spying on, you want to know what this person is doing, okay? You know, you want to know what they've been up to. You want to know what's going on with them because even though this person may have blocked you, I don't feel like there's a definite ending here and I feel like maybe there's a pain here that comes from that, you know? Um, a lot of the times, the reason why people give silent treatments or the reason why people don't talk is because they use that silence as a way to leverage results, okay? A lot of the times, it's because someone here... Um, is wanting your attention and that's one way of you know trying to get it is by going silent so I see you doing a lot of um, spying which could ultimately you could be driving yourself crazy so I don't know if too much of that is a good thing because I feel like the less you see the more you think and the more you'll overthink here yeah, okay and I feel like and I'm seeing for a lot of you, it's like you really want to reach this person or you really want to communicate, but I feel like they've blocked you, to be honest with you. The energies could be in reverse. So if it's not you, it's this person who's doing a lot of spying on you, okay? And again, they may want to reach out and they may want to communicate, but A, you know, maybe the two of you just recently met and hello, then I want to, you know, seem a bit of a stalker or B, like the two of you are actually blocked, you know, you've blocked each other and therefore it's really hard, you know, for them to sort of just reach out and connect because you're in this uncomfortable energy where you're fighting or there's friction and you know you guys have just blocked one another. I see a forgiveness coming in but I don't know if it's coming in from you or I don't know if you're the one that should be doing this. Um, you should be offering this apology here or um, there's a need to forgive something okay with the Hierophant's energy. Um, look with regards to a romantic connection I feel like there's something here that's stagnated for you but I feel like there's a forgiveness here that needs to happen. So I feel like maybe you need to forgive yourself for, for, for a mistake or past regret that you've made here with regards to this romantic energy and you need to release yourself because there's a sense of liberation that comes from that. But maybe in order to move something forward here, you'll have to take accountability for your actions here, Cancer, and you have to be the one that reaches out and communicates to this person. Um, and I feel like there needs to be some sort of, not only is like an it can't just be an apology, okay? I feel like there needs to be so much more depth because I feel like depth to this. Because what I'm seeing for you here with the Hierophant's energy is there's something here that needs to be... So either if you're the one that's offering the apology, someone here needs to forgive you here. Or maybe you need to forgive this person or you need to forgive yourself here or you need to make peace with a, 
um, you need to make peace with some sort of conflict here, okay? But communication, especially because it's underneath the King of Swords, this is going to have to be really transparent, open communication. Like, you're going to have to say things that you probably feel uncomfortable saying, but you're going to have to be really real with yourself and with this person if you want anything to work, okay? If you want anything to move on from this, to move forward from this, if you want to resolve anything here, I feel like Cancer, you're really going to have to um, come in with this energy where you're very transparent, where you're very real and very raw with yourself and your emotions here. So there's a need for, um, for you to forgive yourself or someone else and it's not only for them it's for you as well because like i said there's a sense of liberation that comes with it that only forgiveness can bring in um I f and i feel like that will bring in a new chapter so i feel like there is a possibility for a reconciliation this month with someone especially with the ten of cups okay so for those of you that are going through a storm or a tumultuous situation romantically i feel like this month you will get the rainbow out of the storm or i feel like I'm seeing the two of you, like, normally you guys argue or disagree a lot, but I finally see, like, you're on the same page about something. Um, I feel like you're lining yourself up with something, or some things are definitely lining up for you here this month in terms of love and romance. For some of you, there's new beginnings, so there's an entirely new romantic um, adventure that's coming in, an entirely new romantic prospect that's coming in, someone whom you might connect with here. Um... So for some of you, it might have just been this person that you might have recently met and have done a lot of spying on them. Um, for others of you, I feel like there's a situation here, a relationship that needs reconciling. Um, you need to reconcile your differences with this person and you need to be able to, you know, be very transparent with your emotions here as well. And I feel like that will bring in a new beginning. So there's some of you, I feel like there's an ending here you cancer this month which is disguised as a new beginning there's also a need for you to be patient about something for those of you that are especially waiting for communication from a romantic energy here okay it could be this person that's blocked you or it could be you know the apology that you need to make or the apology that needs to be incoming here it could be you know communication that you want to sort of initiate here don't rush this process okay because i feel like really if this person has blocked you give them time to come around because i do feel like they will eventually come in they will be coming around. Notice the billowing clouds in the background. The energy is a little bit distracted. Or if it's your energy, Cancer, then you're the one that's a little bit distracted. Don't communicate with this person when you're in that energy. Because you don't have this mental awareness. You don't have this mental clarity that you need in order to communicate. Okay? In order to get some things going here. So be patient here. Okay? If you don't find the right things to say, maybe don't say them until you're ready. If you're in this state of you know unease or anxiety maybe it's not best to communicate them if you're waiting for an apology but you feel like you're not ready to speak it yet don't do it until you're ready okay because you have to there needs to be intention behind it right so there's a need for you to be patient take it as you will um related to whatever situation but the um you know the temperance card here is urging you to take really take your time with something don't rush the process um just really take your time um, and wait for the right time, okay? And how long is waiting? I don't know. Sometimes a day, sometimes forever. You're going to have to decide. But there's a need for you to be really patient with something here. I'm also seeing that there is going to be a conversation which needs to happen this month, okay? I feel like maybe it's been long overdue, but there's a conversation here that needs to happen. Again, I, for some of you, I feel like maybe it's this conversation, you know, you, you've had a romantic interest in mind. You've been doing a lot of secret admiring. You have to ask them out. For others of you, I feel like, you know, that we spoke about the apology um, or the explanation that needs to happen or just some, you know, there's a lot of friction with your energies. Um, you know, you guys are maybe not talking to one another, but I feel like eventually there's a conversation that needs to happen, but it's important that you're ready for it. Um, okay, so don't rush it. If you're, if you're not ready to have this conversation, don't rush it. Don't jump into it because you will not get the results that you want from it. You won't achieve those results. Um, you have to sort of, there's, I feel like your energies are a little bit imbalanced here, okay? And I feel like in order for you to achieve balance, you really have to look at yourself, he can. So what is it that you want here, okay? What is it that you want, you know, um, from out of this connection? What is it that you want when it comes to a relationship? What are your intentions and motivations for a relationship? Do you just want this or are you ready for it? Because I feel like there's potential for a new beginning, but don't squander it, don't waste it. Because there's only so many times that someone is going to give you a second chance before it, you know, it becomes hundred. Um, you know, um, 
So I feel like there's a really there's a need in order for you to sort of balance out your energies and in order for you to sort of connect back with your center. It starts with you first, okay? Because um, essentially, I feel like you're feeling a little bit off center yourself, and this is why things around you aren't maybe as going as you want them to go, or you know they're not happening as you planned. So there's a need for you to reconnect with your center here and just sort of go from there okay meditate on your emotions your feelings your you know what are your intentions your motivations for the connection what do you want from out of this what do you hope to you know to achieve here it, it starts with you okay it starts with you and then work outwards okay and these are your messages guys thank you as always for watching for listening please show your support by subscribing to this channel liking sharing or commenting i will be sharing with you more tarot love messages so stay tuned thanks guys again bye for now